Hello, welcome to another Wow Video Review. Uh, today we're actually going to go over uh, unlocking your Galaxy Nexus phone from Docomo, which comes locked for free. Uh, but there's a new app, and it's called the Fuck Docomo app version 2. And why you'd be interested in that is because um, this phone is actually locked. So I'm going to uh, get it to... Uh, actually, I want to show that to you, so I'm going to reboot it. But um, I'm running, on this Galaxy Nexus, we're running uh, Android Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.2. And they just came out with an update called 4.0.4. .4. However, the Fuck Docomo app doesn't work with 4.4. .4. So, 4.0.4. .4. So, we have to get the new version of Fuck Docomo app. So, basically, what you have to do, you're going to see me starting this up. You have to root your phone and get super user permission before you can use the app. Then you're going to download the Fuck.com.o app version 2. And uh, you have to install it, version 2, on 4.0.2. So you have to do it on your original install, your, your uh, old install. Um, and then once you've installed it... <laughs> That's a psychedelic. Anyway, once you've installed it... Okay, you can see it's locked. So we're going to dismiss it. And I'm going to download, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to download, go to XDA developers and just look for the Fuck.com app version 2, V2. And I, let me go type that address in here. I'm sure this is really interesting. Don't get sick while you're on the roller coaster camera. Okay. I'm going to download that. While it's downloading, you got to make sure that's version 2. You've got to make sure that you, you've you set your phone to accept apps that are not from market. Let me see if settings are here. It's not. So, okay. So, we'll go to settings. Just so you know what I'm talking about. So, you have to allow. We have super user. And uh, we have to make sure that we allow. You go set that in security applications unknown sources so allow installation of non-market apps because this is you're going to download it directly so once you've downloaded it you could either just click here or you can go to your app tray and go to downloads and it'll be sitting in downloads and we'll install the fuck docomo app version 2 so now the big difference here it's going to ask us to replace it we'll say okay we're going to install because we had version 1, now we're replacing it. We're going to open it. It's going to ask for super user permission. Current status locked. Require unlock. Okay. Now you're going to see that the biggest difference is unlock, unlock forever, and then take condom. So basically, if you use the forever unlock, it's going to change your IMEI code to a generic one. And that's a problem if you're going to use some online services for location. Uh, the most famous one's Grinder, although I'm not a customer, but... Uh, it uses the IMEI number. It'll block it if you use a generic one. Um, also, if you try to use a phone in some countries like India, it won't work. You have to have a, your unique IMEI number. Okay, So that's why you're going to use the temporary unlock because it's going to keep your original IMEI number. So you hit unlock, and then we're going to request unlock. Request reset flash. So we're going to hit it. Allow. Are you sure? Unlock. Yes. It's been granted. Super user permission. Done. Please reboot. Okay, so it's actually just a two-step process. So I'm going to power off. I'm going to reboot. The new feature is that they're going to, if you hit wear a condom, it's going to remember your IMEI number so that when you flash it and then you reinstall the Docomo app, the Fact Docomo app, it will unlock it and keep your original IMEI code. Let's see A if it works. It looks like it has. Wow. The unlock's off. Okay, great. So you notice there's no lock on it at all. Congratulations, you are free. Your phone is unlocked. Okay, but if you flash the phone in this state, it's going to lock again. So that's why I'm going to go back to the Fuck.Como app. And instead of using current status, unlocked, not required. Now you'll see here, he has even the instructions. Flash any 4.03 ROM or lower. Install the Fuck.Como version to unlock and reboot. Important, use Fuck.com version 2, take condom, which I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to take a condom. The reason why is that you don't need to back up the uh, 
folder that has your IMEI number. It backs it up for you. So if you hit take a condom, okay, uh, get go get Taylor condom means you mark unlock status after take condom. Just using where the condom will unlock any version system your Galaxy Nexus. Even wipe data or SD card. You should save. <laughs> Uh, this is really condom. Anyway, uh, great English there. So basically, I'm going to hit take a condom. And now I'm going to, I'm not going to go through the whole process again. But uh, now I'm going to upgrade my phone to 4.4. So, all right. Anyway, I'll just power it off. I'm, going, I'm not going to go through the whole upgrade process with you because that'll be boring. So uh, I'm going to cut here. Okay, we're back. You can see that I've flashed it to the Cyanogen 4.0.4. I've also did the original 4.04 stock, but I just decided to show you, um, you know, you can do it with any mod. But anyway, this is Cyanogen uh, 4.04. Uh, 4 it's the latest version. It's a nightly, which and it's April 5th version of 2012. Okay, open it. It's locked. So I just flashed it. It came up locked. So I'm going to dismiss it. I've already installed the app, so I've actually gone through this, just so you don't have to see me do it all again. But I went and installed the app. It's here. I've, so current status lock require unlock. Now you can hit unlock again, or you can just say wear condom. And it remembered the original data. For sure wear condom, want to be free, hit OK. It's been granted super user permission. OK, done. Please reboot. Now I'm going to reboot. And look at that, Cyanogen. Wait, let me go do something. Let me go back. Hit OK. Reboot. And wow, I even have a reboot option now. Yay. OK. All right. OK. You see that? I didn't ask for it. It's been unlocked. And I got a little congratulations. You are free. Your phone is unlocked. So you don't have to back up anymore. Basically, if you hit the air condom or take condom, you can flash to the new 4.04, .04, and then you just need to hit take condom, and it works. So um, much easier now. And then let us I'll show you. Uh, we've kept my original IMEI number, even after the flash. But um, it is the correct one. It's no longer the stock one, so it does work. So... Very handy little app. And uh, donate to the guy. He saves. Oh, th one important thing to remember is why I had to go do this, learn this app instead of buying the codes online, is you can't get the codes online anymore. Uh, all of the companies that used to sell the unlock codes for the Japanese Nexus S version um, can't get the unlock codes anymore. You, you go there, you sign up, you give them your code, you pay your money, and then they refund you about eight hours later saying, sorry, we can't get it. It all started about two weeks ago when the... Um, when uh, Docomo cracked down on all of the dealers to give out the unlock codes. So if, you, if you go to the Docomo shop, they will not give you the number. They'll only unlock your phone and then pass your phone back to you and give you a little piece of paper telling you to come back in if your phone locks up again. So that's why the Fuck Docomo app is handy. Thanks for watching. All right. Thank you to our sponsorship, comics.net.